Hey loves, it's Jazz. What's good? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. So today is very exciting. Um, today I'm gonna be sharing with you all what my kids are getting in their Easter baskets for 2022. And my daughter is babbling in the background. So uh, yeah, back at it again this year. Um, I feel like this year is going by extremely quick, extremely quick. So I have a 11 year old, I have a seven year old, and I have a baby girl that's babbling in the background who is five months. And everybody's baskets is over behind me on the sofa. I just want to make sure that the lightning was good. So like I was saying, I just wanted to make sure that my lights and everything was crystal clear so you all can, you know, see everything that the kiddos are getting this year for Easter. Um, I do have a bag right here. Um, everything in here is not from Dollar Tree, uh, but the things that are, I'll let you know. So basically, um, my mom is going to have like an Easter egg hunt in her house. And I bought some pre-filled eggs for that event, which should be Sunday. And um, I normally fill eggs, you guys. I feel so weird not doing it this year. We fill eggs and, well, I fill the eggs. And then I normally, you know, hide them or whatever case may be. But my mom is doing it this year. But to add to what she's doing, I decided I would get two bags of pre-filled eggs. I got some Easter grass in here. That's from Dollar Tree. The pre-filled eggs is from Five Below. And then this paper that you see here is from a company called Wow Fit. Um, it's a company that I normally do go through to get plastic for wrapping baskets for any occasions. Because y'all know I'm in my prime right now, right? I love doing things like this. So, yeah. Um, so, their baskets... I don't think will fit in here. I'm going to try and see. I only have one piece of plastic left. So I got to go get some more plastic. Um, it's a little too late to try to order some online. And um, so I'm probably going to have to go to like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, some kind of craft store. And um, get some more of this plastic. But here's what the plastic pretty much looks like. And you just stick the basket off in there. And we'll do that another day. Um... And then also I got the um, I got Easter grass. So the Easter grass is from Dollar Tree. I got four packs of the I guess you can say shiny green grass. Um, four packs of that, and that's gonna be for Julian and Trey's Easter basket. Got four packs of the Easter grass. And for Zara, for her little Easter bag, um, basket, I keep saying bag. <laughs> for her little Easter basket, um, I had a hard time kind of finding pink um, Easter grass. So this is the one that I looked up on from Dollar Tree. And, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could have went to Walmart or Target, but y'all, I'm not trying to break the bank over some damn Easter grass, okay? So, I got mine from Dollar Tree. Um, this one is pink, yellow, and green. And it's real cute. So, I'm going to mix the colors in, you know, put it in the basket, and then redo everything and, um, make sure that I, uh, wrap it and all that stuff. Try to go get the rest of the, like, clear paper and some cute little, you know, bows to go on the basket. At least that's the goal. <laughs> and then, last but not least, in this big Dollar Tree bag, <laughs> um, I got the pre-filled eggs. These are not from Dollar Tree. These two bags are from Five Below. And, yeah, if you're looking for pre-filled eggs, I would highly recommend that store Five Below. And I got two packs, one for Trey, one for Julian. Um, 16 per bag, can't beat that. It's got pre-filled uh, candy in it for any type of like egg hunt that you may have. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Now, I don't know what type of candy that is. I don't know if that's gummies right there or if it's sweet tarts. 
I don't know, but we shall find out Sunday. <laughs> um, and so, again, my mom is throwing the Easter egg hunt in her house. We're not going to, like, an Easter egg hunt at the church or anything because they're saying it's supposed to be thunderstorms and rain. So, yeah. All right, love. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the basket. So, we're going to start with my daughter, ladies first. Um, and I'll tell you where everything is from. So, all of the kids got wire arm baskets and i'll insert a picture up here somewhere of the boys easter baskets last year and this is back when i was a mummy of two and i got those baskets from five below so everything today that you see is from five below um so yeah but um long story short those baskets wore thin and they started to unravel i had those baskets like three years and so we are just now getting rid of those baskets. I miss those baskets so much because once you buy them, you don't have to buy them again. But anyway, everybody has iron wire baskets. And so this one is baby girls and hers is pink. And the basket is from Michael's. I know I said everything is from Five Below, but her basket is not from Five Below. It's from Michael's. Um, and yeah, we're just going to dive into what she has. So right here up top, since she's five months, I got her some things this time that she can do like in the tub because she loves bath time and she's getting aware of like the little bath toys that we, uh, play together with while she's in her little bathtub. I may show her the pig, the sheep or whatever. And so I saw this that says water babies. It is a African American baby um mermaid and she could play with it in the water it's like so cute so i thought she would really enjoy playing with her in the bathtub so a little black mermaid for the bathtub all right so moving on um in her basket i got her some new bath wash because we have been using the dove and I'll insert a picture over here, some little video maybe. But yeah, we have been using Dove and the Baby Dove. And I love Baby Dove, nothing wrong with it. But she's running out of it. So I went ahead on and got the yellow, the Hello Bello. <laughs> Let me set it, set this basket right here beside me. I went ahead on and got the Hello Bello um, Baby Lotion and Premium Baby Wash. So this is what it looks like. It's lavender scented. And I really love the way that it smells. It smells just like lavender. And um, it says premium baby bath. Um, um, fragrance free, dye free, um, hyperallergenic. Um, it's supposed to be plant based. So I can't wait to use this with her. And you all let me know, you know, if you've used it before. The next thing that I got her is a silicone bib. Because she's about to start solids next month. And so, um, I just thought she could use one of these. I always want her to have one. It's just a, got a cute little elephant on there. A rubber silicone bib. And I can't believe she's about to start solids and cereal and eating from a spoon. Oh my gosh. Um, the next thing I did not get, my sister actually got this item. And I told her I was going to include it in her Easter basket. So, shout out to my sister. Um, this is a Unicorn Busy Bee um, developmental rocker. And Zara is so hands-on now. She's so alert. She was like that at birth. And um, so, it's got like the little colorful beads right here. And it rocks. And it says it develops coordination cause and effect so y'all know we unicorn fans over here so when i saw this i was like yo that is like too cute so shout out to my sister i'm not sure where she got it from but thank you sis um and last but not least which is probably going to be the star of this show this is what the basket looks like by the way it is just too cute oh my god first time buying pink Easter basket, Lord. <laughs> the last thing is the star of the show. That's going to be baby girl's Easter dress. And this is what her dress looks like. 
It is really, really, really cute. So I already have it on a nice cute little hanger for her. It is so cute. It's giving Easter, but not too much. She's got little ruffles, ruffles. Comes with the extra little skirt up under there. And it does come with the little infant, you know, little pants. And so, yeah, that's her official Easter dress. I can't wait to see her in it. It's a six to nine months outfit. All right, so we're gonna move on to what Trey is getting in his Easter basket. Here's Trey's Easter basket. Um, the boys have rectangle Easter baskets and I really love them. I really, really love them. I'm gonna show you what the tag looks like. They are so different and unique. So first of all, they're blue and it says rectangle wire basket. And the boys' baskets are from five below. I, I was gonna get them initially like a gray one, but the gray one was made like a circle, kind of like Zara's, and I didn't think that that really, I didn't really like it. I was like, I want them to get something that's a little different. So I looked up on this basket, like I said, at five below, and everything in here is from five below. So in Trey's basket, he's gonna get this thing. It is a um, bubble chopper. So basically you can take the helicopter part off and fill it up with, you know, water bubbles or whatever you're supposed to do. And it's got like different instructions back here on how to use it. So this is a bubble chopper. I think you'll have a really good time with it. The fact that you can disconnect the, the, the holder from the um, chopper part, the little helicopter, I think he would really like it. The next thing that Trey has in his basket is a Paw Patrol egg. This is like one of the things I always include in their basket. So this year he has Paw Patrol. The next thing that he has are some peeps. Y'all know an Easter basket is not complete with the peeps. So this is the one that he has. Um, it says cotton candy and it looks like it's gonna be like real good. Um, the next thing that he has, which I think he's gonna go um, really like, wild about is the um, WWF championship belt um, for kids because you all know Trey loves wrestlers and he low-key think he's a wrestler so that's what he has right there it says one size fit all so I'm really hoping that he can get it around his waist the next thing that Trey's getting in his Easter basket is a Zen Garden sensory tub um, Trey loves to play with like kinetic sand and stuff like that. And when I saw this sensory bin with some activities in here, um, it has squeezy sand, water beads, a plastic rack, um, four plastic plants, two plastic animals, three stones. Um, he's really getting into things like this. So I decided to grab it for him. And um, I know he's gonna have so much fun with it, especially with the um, kinetic sand. He has some kinetic sand and it's put up in the closet but he doesn't have anything to store it in. So to find this with other little accessories plus a, a container to store it in, I was like, that's perfect. So that's gonna be in his basket as well. And then last but not least, since spring is upon us, I got him a Frisbee that he can throw when we go to the park because we have several, several park days. And this is what the basket looks like without anything in it. So yeah, that's everything that Trey's getting for Easter this year. We're gonna hop on to my oldest son, Julian, and I'll share with you all what he's getting this year. All right, love, so here is Julian's Easter basket. Um, I feel like the older he gets, I'm running out of ideas, okay? I have a preteen, but um, I did my best to make sure that everything was like age appropriate as far as like big boy preteen status. <laughs> Not grown, okay? But preteen status. So um, we're gonna just go ahead and start from the top. So he's still into his like remote thing. So I figured he would really enjoy um, this item here. And it is the uh, Desert Hero remote control um, 
Tank and um, him and Ju him and Trey, they both did get like some little race car um, things for Christmas and they were able to open it like a day or two before Christmas. We did like an excavator hunt and he had like the remote control and stuff like that to go to it. So I picked this one out for him. Um, I wish I could have found one that was more like maybe a little bit more advanced, but my children are so grateful for any and everything that I do. So I'm sure he would really like it. Um, moving on, he also has a egg as well. And his is the Marvel character egg. Um, like I said, I usually get these eggs like every year um, to go in their Easter baskets. They're just a big giant egg. And most of them have like candy in there or they have stickers in here. So that would be his big egg that's going into his Easter basket. Moving on, the next thing that's going in there is a thing of peeps. And this one is blue. And I was really loving seeing that they had a variety of peeps out there, um, like different colors, different flavors. And so, I mean, what's the Easter basket without peeps, right? Um, moving on from there, we have this. Um, so let me make sure I don't drop anything first of all. So moving on from there, I have for him A, um, it is a wireless gaming speaker. Um, I would like to think that this is something that you can hook up to like any type of gaming system. Um, I haven't read anywhere where it's universal. It does say it's compatible with like iPhones, iPods, iPod tablets, and Android smartphones. So I'm happy to know that because your boy got a cell phone, okay? <laughs> so when he's jamming his music, he got his own like little, you know, speaker set that he can jam his music to. I do like the LED lights on here as well. And I think he's really going to enjoy this. Now, initially I was looking for a lava lamp because he had been asking for one of those, but I mean, graduation is coming up. So y'all, it's like, we're always celebrating around here. <laughs> um, moving on from there, we have this uh, Mech Motors. And this is really good for children who are like hyperactive. They like to do things with their hands. They may be ADD, ADHD or whatever the case may be. And um, when I saw this, I was like, I definitely wanted to get this for him. So basically it has metal parts, screws, it looks like nuts and bolts, plastic features, um, and it has 163 parts. And so I know when he get his hands on this, he's really going to be excited. You can put it together and um, just with all like the different screws and stuff like that, he's really going to enjoy this. I love STEM related things for my Julian. Um, so yeah. And last but not least, we have a accessory set. I feel like I do really good with finding accessory pieces for like his phone or his Nintendo Switch. So when I saw this, I said, hmm, that looks pretty interesting. It's a multifunctional storage stand for Switch. And um, you can pretty much just store like the console, the console controller, uh, the different game cartridges, which he loves to keep his game boxes and the little cartridges that whatever they're called, the game boxes. Um, and then it comes with like a little drawer set to keep the controllers in. So I think that this is a good way and another alternative for him to store um, his Nintendo Switch and the things that, you know, come along with that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's gonna take care of my oldest son. Again, he's 11. Um, same basket as Trey's. And um, I really like the fact that I found theirs in a re rectangle shape. I like that about them. And it's not like the circle shape. I didn't think that they, I don't know. I feel like this is more boyish. <laughs> so yeah, um, child, we did it again this year. <laughs> All right, love. So if you enjoyed today's video, definitely, definitely, definitely run it up. Watch it again and again and again. And don't forget to thumbs up the video. I love y'all so much. Hope you all have a happy Easter weekend and stay safe.